What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a different kind of video because I'm just going to shoot it in one shot and there's going to be no editing. So it will be very free flowing. It will not be as organizing because I'm not going to be cutting it because I am going to relax tonight. I'm going to do absolutely nothing. I'm going to crack a few. I'm going to play some golf in the backyard. I'm going to, I'm going to have some fun. Okay. That being said, today was probably one of the best training days I've had this year. Now, the reason being is because we've seen one of the moves that we only get to see once every three to six months, sometimes once a year. We've only seen this move twice happen since October of 2023. And we've seen today the biggest gap up with the queues in over 630 days. I want to let you guys know, for those of you guys who have been following the channel for a long period of time, or for those of you guys who specifically who have joined the Discord recently, or who, for those of you guys who have been here there for a long period of time, you guys have gotten a breakdown of one of the largest moves we've seen in the market. And I just want to say congratulations, okay? I think uh, our trading community today probably would clear over $1 million in profits combined, probably well over that. But I do want to say for those of you guys who have been following and watching and listening to the macro breakdowns of what could potentially be happening, we've seen something wild. And I honestly do believe that if Apple and Amazon's earnings look a little a little decent tomorrow we could see this what has already been an amazing move double okay now i want to break that down on top of look over several other charts so if you guys haven't yet smash the like button engage with the video for those of you guys who are new subscribe to the channel or don't teach their own today is not a day that i care you describe don't subscribe it's your loss if you don't want to but that being said if you guys would like to jump into the Discord, guys, today's the last day to do so. Tomorrow, the prices do change, and they don't. It's not going to go back. You get a three-week free trial if you join today. There are only three or four spots available. Um, if they are available by the time you watch this video, um, and that's that's all I have to say about that. Right? We had a great day today, and we look forward to having some more this week. Now. What I want to speak to you guys about right now is the fact that the queues are sitting at the edge of a gap. Now, we do know that tomorrow we do have a plethora of earnings. We have ourselves the big boys, okay, in the morning, Siri, Sirius XM, uh, RBLX, we have Roblox, we have Crocs, uh, we have Moderna. Those are, those are okay. In the after hours, we have ourselves Apple. Amazon, two heavy hitters. Then with the chips, we have INTC. Um, we also have with the Bitcoin mining stocks or Bitcoin related names, Mera, Coin, and MSTR. We then have SQ as well, DraftKings, Roku, Dash, RKT, several different huge names reporting earnings. Not to mention the fact that on Friday we have oil with XOM and CVX. And then we have AMC on Friday in the after hours. Now with the AMC earnings, guys, I do want to be very careful here. It says in the after hours, and we all know they could just drop earnings at any point in time that they want. So let's just be very careful that if you are looking to hold options overnight, I would say be prepared that the earnings may drop before the market even opens. We've seen it happen before, just giving you guys a quick heads up reminder, hey, you know what? It was I don't think it was the last earnings, but maybe two earnings ago, they just dropped the morning of instead of the afternoon. And it was just, it was a little bit, I mean, it had a good reaction immediately, but nonetheless, guys, be prepared for that, okay? Anyways, getting back to the market. In the after hours today, we did see Meta Report earnings we did see ARM report earnings, we did see QCOM, Riot, CVNA, and overall, the market looks pretty decent at this time. Meta up 6.86% here in the after, as you guys can see here, a huge move here. Now, this is one of the reasons why the queues are currently up uh, in the after hours right now. I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can see it. The queues are currently up in the after hours right now. They're up uh, roughly $3.60. This is absolutely looking phenomenal. The SPY. In the after hours as well, also up. I'm going to hide that writing there. No need to go into that right now. The SPY is also up. I I, I typed in Magnet here specifically, and I, I I put this in a video. I can't remember exactly when it was. I think it was last week on Wednesday or Thursday that this was going to pull the market back up. Now, I do have data to actually uh, break down for you guys, but that's going to be in another video for this weekend for the overall gamma pull and the dark pull levels that were highlighted specifically for these levels. There. There's a lot of research that goes on behind the scenes, not just calling it willy-nilly here, but very interesting here. I, I do still see there being another leg up for the SPY, especially if Amazon and Apple do have positive earnings. So please keep that part in mind as well. Now, here we go, guys. Let's break down several of these charts here. A quick reminder, guys, today is the last day to join the Discord. Tomorrow, it does not matter what DMs are sent. Uh, we are not going to open this thing back up immediately. We're going to let the newbies settle in here before we do open the Discord back up. Uh, I think 
the Qs just moved again. They're now at 474. This is absolutely amazing here. Okay. Let's start off here with Bitcoin. Okay. Bitcoin did see a little bit of rejection here. Um, I do want to wait and see if Bitcoin can maintain above that $64,000 level. If so, I would love to go back long with several of the Bitcoin mining stocks. Now, Riot did have earnings in the after hours. So with that, I have to be a little bit careful here because Riot is currently down 1.5%, which is not bad to be all, to be honest. It's not bad at all, but Mara has earnings tomorrow. And I do want to see Mara get back above that 2107 level. Now, some of you guys are asking, hey, TMI, you love Mara, you talk about Mara all the time. What are you going to be doing for earnings? Things. selling cover calls and being and playing safe okay i'm going to take the premium from cover calls i own shares i'm not going to sell uh cover calls and all the shares that i own just a little just a few just a little something to make a little cash off of that because i do want to be able to sustain any more downside that we may see in the short term okay for those of you guys have been following the channel since last year, you guys know I was selling cover calls at this $30 range every time we get up there. We didn't quite get to 30 bucks this time around. I do wish I sold cover calls roughly just above 26, 27. I would have definitely done so if we got towards that $30 range again, but I made a mistake. Okay. I thought we were gonna go a little bit higher. It didn't. Bitcoin kind of crapped the bed here. I thought this flight pattern would have broke back up towards the upside. It didn't happen. It is what it is. But for earnings, I'm gonna play it very safe. Let's get back to the overall market here. Okay. Spy looking great right now. If it can get back above 553, I love it. The Q's looking solid right now. Gap fill all the way back up to 480. And that is exactly what I'm looking for for the target before the day closes tomorrow, which means I'm looking for the Q's to move up an additional $5 in between. Uh, market open tomorrow and market closed tomorrow for where it's currently sitting. Um, Bitcoin, we just covered that right now. NVIDIA up 12% today, right? Now, very interesting here. We're seeing something very similar, okay? The only difference is this. I'm going to remove a few different levels here because I want to show you guys exactly what I'm looking for from NVIDIA. Right now, there's still a gap to get filled here with NVIDIA up towards, I'm going to get the exact level for you guys. 124.58. I'm looking for a move back above that 125.59 level on the daily candle close. As long as Nvidia remains below this level here, I'm not going to be too too bullish here. Now, if you had calls from the close yesterday, uh, when, when Nvidia was at 103 and it's now coming at 120, you are up significantly. It's up 20% with shares alone. The options look absolutely fantastic. But from a macro perspective here, we have seen literally. I have highlighted this here for you guys. The exact same thing happened before where we saw a significant drawdown and then we saw a nice rise up for lower highs and then we saw that low. If we see that lower high again and we don't cross back over that 125.59 level, I'll be looking for that downside to complete that gap down towards 196, okay? That's what I'll be looking for. If we do see a break back above this here level and you can consolidate here, I'll be looking for that next leg up. I'll be targeting 133 and going back for these all-time highs, potentially potentially setting up for an inverse head and shoulder pattern like this back up towards the all-time highs okay that's what i'm looking for nvidia and to me you know it's the fact that nvidia is up so much in the after hours and arm is down so much in the after hours is really showing the strength with nvidia now for me personally guys um, i put in the discord i didn't put it put out a video but i said i would be buying nvidia if that thing continued to sell off the way it was and look at it up 20 percent in two days absolutely phenomenal okay um i do want to get to a few of these tech names here guys for one i did grab some calls on snapchat as well um i grabbed calls on snapchat just because i want to target this gap fill for one back up towards 14 bucks the calls that i got on snapchat um oh i actually didn't i thought i was gonna have my broker open and i forgot that i'm not editing this video so i do apologize for the delay here guys let me just let you give you guys information on the calls that i have for snapchat um, for earnings, I got the calls of Snapchat because the thing, the thought, the thought process behind it was, I, I thought Meta was going to go towards the upside, and I wanted to play an earnings call, but I didn't want to get the IV crush. Why is this not opening here? All right, the Snapchat calls that I have, guys, are fifteen dollar calls for this week. Fifteen dollar calls for this week, so I'm hoping we get towards fourteen thirty two roughly before earnings even kicks off tomorrow, and then we'll be looking at something interesting here. So. Anyways, uh, the reason why I got this is because tomorrow in the afternoon, Snapchat has earnings, so their IV is not going to be crushed at market open because the IV is going to stay high for their earnings, which they could still move a significant amount. Um, I might trim everything down to one single contract at open, to be fair, and just leave a little bit of house money or, or you know, um, runners, if you will, for the market. But that's all I'm looking at from, from that perspective there for those earnings. The big ones I'm going to be watching, guys, is Amazon and Apple. I would... 
if I had to pick a direction for either one of those names, guys, it would be calls based off of the close at this time and based off of the earnings that we've seen so far, the AMD earnings, the Meta earnings, uh, the Microsoft earnings that did. I mean, look at Microsoft today. Microsoft today, uh, it was down, it gapped back down, and it closed down roughly 1% today after being down roughly 8% in the after hours yesterday. Not bad at all. And now it's currently up just a few ticks here in the after hours as well, okay? Now, getting close to this, guys, AMC. AMC is up 3.9% today, guys. It looks pretty good here. And the reason why I'm saying it looks pretty good here is because if I go to the weekly, and I've told you guys this before, it looks like this is the week that we're going to see a, a, a 920 EMA close if the candle can close somewhere in this range without seeing any sort of significant pullback. Now, of course, they have earnings on Friday, so this is still up in the air. But if the earnings are anything positive, you know, the last time we saw this, we saw a 50 plus percent run, which is worthwhile watching. And I, I cannot explain that enough, but it does not mean that it has to happen, but it does mean that historically speaking, this will be a window of opportunity where if we do see a candle close above six bucks, Anything within this region here is within play over the next few months, right? Anything in here is within range if their earnings are positive and their outlook is positive. They just had a great restructuring deal that they put together. So I'm actually very interested to see what Friday looks like, guys. Stay tuned for that, okay? GameStop today, you know, it did still close back down below that 2372 level here. So for me, I told you guys before as well, I'm looking for that move back down towards that gap fill, roughly around 20 to $19. Until that gap fill gets closed or it does go back over 2767, I'm really gonna be hands off from an option perspective here on GameStop, all right? So that's where I am right now not going to get eaten up with theta. I'm just going to simply pay attention and be very careful here as it does continue to consolidate. All right. So that's what I got for you guys right now in regards to where the market is, several different places I'm looking for, uh, the queues where I'm looking for the spy to go before we do have the big hitting earnings tomorrow. And uh, oh, tomorrow morning, guys, we do have ourselves a few different data sets. Initial jobs claims at 830. We have a 945, the S&P Global US Manufacturing PMI. And then at 10, we have two back-to-back -back ISM Manufacturing uh, data updates, PMI, and then prices both for July. All right. So if you guys haven't yet, of course, smash the like button. Engage with the video. If you want more information on trading, guys, tonight is the last night. If the spots are still available to jump into the Discord. You know what? I should probably open up a few more spots at this time. Um, I will open up 10 spots from whenever this video drops. So there may be 12 or 13 spots more available. Um, but once those spots are filled, guys, or it is 12 o'clock, the prices do change and they're not going to go back. All right, guys? Much love. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.